All right, this is my setup tour slash apartment tour because if you did not know, I just moved. I used to live in a house. I no longer live in a house and I live in this apartment. Thankfully for me, because my luck is fantastic, uh, this the, the, the chair is different now, but the chair was underneath the door handle to prevent someone from coming in because someone tried to come into our apartment. He didn't speak any English and he was incredibly drunk. It was honestly a really good time. So right here, you have the modem and the router. The router, there's an ethernet cable that goes from the router all the way into my room and all the way into my roommate's room. It's real handy because there's no, like I, I got the cable hider, so there's no big cables anywhere. And then the TV, which was the TV that was in my room. It is now no longer in my room room because kind of same thing as the couch the, the tv that was in the living room at the old place uh was a different roommate's and i figured because my room is a little bit smaller now than it was in the house and like the, the whole way i'm arranging my room is a little bit different i figured i would throw the tv out here that is my ps4 and then i have it hooked up to a, a 4k fire stick um and then this is a samsung soundbar subwoofer combo sounds really good and uh yeah, boom, this is the kitchen. Nothing really going on here. You got the sink, Keurig, which if I don't use once a day, I use twice a day. That is that is a lifesaver. And on top of that, who can forget? Compostable K-cups, baby. Earth time, earth time, let's go. Dishwasher, fridge, fridge is not really anything in it right now. And um, yeah, and then this is the countertop. The Ninja Blender, Ninja Poggers. <laughs> And then a new knife set that I got, cause same thing with TV and couch, the one at the old place wasn't mine. Um, so moving into my room, and uh, here's here's the uh, the dining room table, which is a little messed up. Got some storage there, storage over there. And this is my room, so you walk in my room, you got the sink, you got the bathroom, shower, all that good stuff. And then this is the room itself, so the ethernet cable goes down there. Uh, this is my bed, same bed I had at the old place, it's a queen size bed. And then a few paintings that I haven't put anywhere yet, and a lamp, because I don't have an overhead light here. By uh, the window, which is nice, because at the old place I had blackout curtains, and I had trouble waking up in the morning because I wouldn't know what time it is, because they're blackout curtains, so it would be like, like noon and it would look like it's 8 a.m or it's like pitch black so i like having that so i just open it a little bit before i go to bed and get some natural light and then this is the closet just clothes and storage and stuff there's a little light for it too um yeah, so it's, it's nice having that. That way I don't need a dresser. Um, and then this is monitor number one that BenQ sent me. I'll put the name of it on the screen. Uh, 27 inches, 1440p, HDR, free sync. I didn't know what to do with it before because they sent it to me. But at the time, I already had my Zowie 240 hertz. So there's no sense really in going from 240 to 144. Um, so I figured since I got the TV out of here, I might as well stick it right here on my old monitor arm. And then right now this connects to the switch that's in the back and the streaming and editing PC. And the streaming and editing PC though, it's definitely built for streaming and editing. It's still useful for playing games. So maybe when a friend comes over or my girlfriend's over, I can turn this side of the room into kind of like a secondary mini gaming setup. So I'll probably throw like keyboard, mouse, blah, blah, blah. Um, and what happened originally is I didn't, I forgot to put my, my lamp in my camera mount there so i couldn't record any face cam videos like i did for the for the destiny 2 cheater video so i'm just putting it right here and then i'll throw the lamp right there if i need to record any sort of face cam video normally the microphone's over here i just swivel it around and i can record it right here and then maybe at some point i'll throw the ps4 over there or something i don't know so this is my evolve pc streaming editing and recording pc if you want to check out evolve pcs i'll have a link to them in the description of this video and you can use code sird for a discount i will also throw the specs on the screen right now keep in mind that this is not intended to be a gaming pc so when you see the 1650 in there just know that for stream, like when I got it for streaming at the time, even a 1650 wasn't needed. Uh, so this is, I, I do no gaming on this PC. I got, I got my knife stand right there. And then moving on, sitting sitting down in my Max Nomic chair. You can use code sir D for a discount, by the way. Sitting down here, you got the Logitech Pink G Pro Wireless Limited Edition, the GK64 or GK65, I'm not too sure, and uh, a coiled aviator cable. This is my Go XLR. Um, I don't really need it, but I didn't feel like selling it, so I still use it, and uh, it looks cool. And then this is a Netgear Gigabit switch, which essentially means that that one cable can come in here, connect to this, and then it's essentially like a power strip for internet. So I can get like the, the, the three cables on the right side, I can connect all my devices wired uh, just through that 
one cable essentially. These are my Sennheiser headphones. I'm not sure the model number, but I'll put it on the screen. I got a Rode PSA-1 microphone arm going to the Shure SM7B microphone, which goes into a Triton Fethead preamp up, down, around, and then it plugs into my Behringer Q802 mixer. And then I got a few of my, my GameCube controllers over here because I, if you couldn't tell, I love playing Smash. I think I already covered this, but 240 hertz, 24 inch Zowie, and 144 hertz Zowie, 24 inches, but it's flipped vertical. And it is on a Northern Bayou, Northern Bayou dual monitor mounts arms. I think. And then this is the gaming PC that I built myself. Uh, building a PC is a good experience, but it's also a painful one at the same time because I don't know if my luck is just bad. I feel like I know a decent bit about technology and computers, but it just, it takes like three times to get everything right. And it, it was a pain. Um, but you know, I came out of it proud because I, you know, I did make a computer. You know, it did, it did take around three hours talking with Evolve customer support aka a, a friend of mine. And uh, you know, I, I did it totally by myself. It's got a 9700K uh, 2080 Ti that's overclocked. It's got the 360 millimeter radiator that you can't really see, but it's right over there. Uh, 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM, a Z390 Carbon Pro Gaming AC motherboard, I think it's called. And then a two terabyte NVMe SSD. And uh, it's all in a 680X case. That's a white one. And then that is a black one. All right, so that's it for the video. I mean, it, it's mainly the same, but uh, I couldn't get a normal video out yesterday because of the whole guy trying to break into the apartment. And on top of that, I was cleaning out the old place. So I just figured I'd throw this up since some people on Twitter were interested uh, when I put up a few pictures of, of how, I, you know, how I was progressing with the room setup. So if you enjoyed the video, the best way of supporting it, as always, is by dropping a like and uh, click on the bell if you don't want to miss a video in the future. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.